Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is pie graphs that is used in information handling in order to represent the data in a manner that you can easily evaluate useful information visually. Let's see what is pie graph. A pie graph is defined as a graph that is divided into sectors or slices to show relative size of data or numerical proportion. No need to worry about the sectors or slices and the relative size of data or the numerical proportion uh, terms as we will discuss it with the help of example so that you can easily understand its concept. Okay. So we are having an example to show its concept. Imagine you are given with a certain data as we will uh, draw the data in the form of table as for example you have made a survey and you ask the people that which which fruit they like the most and you have given them with the uh, option of like you ask them whether they like mango or they like apple or banana or orange or grapes you are given them with the few uh, options and to choose that uh, which fruit they like the most Okay, so your survey present you with the data according to which 10 people said they like mango the most, 6 people said they like the apple, 4 people said they like banana, 5 people said they like orange, Orange, uh, uh, you can say um, uh, 5 people said they like uh, uh, oranges and 3 people said they like grapes. Okay. One more uh, food we can add here is Gava. And how many people said they like Gava? Is seven. So this is the table that you have based on that you have made based on your observation or the on your survey that you have done in order to find out uh, how many people like which food. So you can show this data on the pie chart. Okay. So you can easily show this data on the pie chart. Let's see how you can do this. Here we are, our concern is not to uh, not how to draw a pie graph. Our concern is just how you can map such information on the pie graph so that you can easily evaluate a useful information from that. Okay, so by using that data, you can draw a pie graph like this in a circular form, having cer certain sectors. The number of sectors depends on the number of the variables. Here we were having the six variables or six different types of fruits. So our sectors must be six. We will discuss it later that what is the sector of a circle. So I am just randomly draw the sectors that will show that data that we have already seen in the table in the form of this circular graph. So we will write as for example, we will write the variables in each sector as we will write mango here. It's just an example. We have not calculated anything yet here. We are just showing that how it will be helpful to convert the table into a pie graph that will help you to easily evaluate the useful information from it. So we have the mango, we were having an orange then grape and we were also having an apple and we were having a gava and the last one is banana. So these were the variables you can say or the um, quantities that were involved in this survey. So these were, these were the variables we have given each variable or each quantity we have given each quantity the each sector. Now we will represent their percentage that how many percentage each quantity has got. So we will write as we are just writing it randomly. There is no calculated value here. Keep this in mind. We will see it later that how you can calculate the value. Okay. So the percentage of mango here is 28% and the number of mangoes were number of mangoes were 10. Okay. This is the value of this sector. Okay. Then orange. Orange was 7 people said they like orange. So the, its, its percentage was 20%. Okay. How many people said they like grapes? 3 people said they like grapes. Okay. And the percentage is and the percentage is 8.5%. Okay. Then we we'll write here and here. How many people said they like banana? 4 people said they like banana. 
we will write it as four people said they like bananas and the percentage will be 11.4 percent and same is the case with the rest of it. Apple was liked by six people so its percentage was 17.14 percent okay so this is the graph that is showing the different quantities that were involved in the survey so now by looking at this graph you can easily evaluate few informations like you can say that by looking at this graph that the most liked fruit here is the mango and you say that yes the most liked fruit is mango because the percentage of the mango is 28 percent that is the highest percent of all all of them okay then the least liked fruit is what just check it out fruit is the least like fruit is here the grapes okay because it because it has 8.5 percent and only three people said they like the grapes so this is the very useful information that we have evaluated from this graph it means you can easily use pie graph to convert your given data in a meaningful data in order to evaluate the useful information from it let's see what are the advantages of pie graph that why you should use the pie graph see it one by one first advantage is you can first thing that you uh, that comes into mind about this pie chart is that it, it is easy to understand with a quick look that you can easily understand the purpose of that graph that what it is showing by just looking at that at the pie graph okay second advantage is you can show part of percentages as we have already shown part of percentages in an understandable way that which part has got how many how much percentage third advantage is you can easily draw comparison as we have already seen that we have made the comparison of the fruits and um, and we have seen that which fruit was liked by, by the people the most and which fruit was um, least liked by the people so you can easily draw comparison between the different objects okay and the last is but not the least it present excellent visual displays so your data becomes presentable and you can have a very good effect by looking at the graph that is representing your data visual displays okay so that's all from today's lecture we will discuss how to draw up draw a pie chart as we have already drawn as we have already seen in our in detail in our next lecture so stay tuned for that thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you